Good evening, everybody. This is Roop Dog here in the war room with you to give you my first impression review of the Ursac Almighty Bear Sack. We're gonna test it out, see how much fits in it. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. First impression review of the Ursac Almighty Bear Bag that I'll be carrying this summer backpacking and ideally next summer on the PCT. So first impression this is a seems to be a very stout bag. I looks like something that a smoke jumper might have built <laughs> which means it'll probably last a good 30 years or more so I fully expect this to see this next summer on the PCT. Um, very seems like more than enough for um, what they claim, like four days of food or so. And we're gonna kind of test that out here in a moment. Um, actual measurements uh, were um, 12 by 18, and it folded flat, of course. Um, but yeah, it seems like a very sturdy bag. Um, some of the comments I've seen on this bag where it, it looks like a, uh, a, a major, or excuse me, a minor sewed inside of a major. And yeah, that's, that's my impression of that too. I'd say that's accurate. Um, I, I was very slightly disappointed. I thought this came with one of the odor-proof bags, um, one of the liner bags, and it did not. Those are sold separately, so heads up there. Uh, anyway, this bag um, is, uh, is not waterproof, um, but it is uh, tear-resistant um, and, uh, and teeth-resistant. So uh, bears can't tear it open, they can't undo the knot, uh, and Mice, while they might be able to chew through the outer part, um, cannot get through the, the inner green liner. Kind of see you there. Um, uh, oh, as far as weatherproofing, you, I read on the website you can spray it with waterproofer uh, if you choose. Um, up to you. Anyway, um, so the dimensions of this bag. Um, or set claims, I think, uh, 10.65 liters, but who can visualize that? So, um, you know, I already bit the bullet. Um, I spent the $112 for this Kevlar sack. Um, so I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how much you can actually fit into this um, and uh, safely close it, because it should not be overflowing um, to keep the bears out. Anyway, I have leaders for you, 46. Granola, protein, meal replacement, keto, paleo bars. Uh, one pound of trail mix. And um, approximately one day's worth of coffee. And we're going to see if all this can fit in there. Um, of course, this is not a complete idea of what you might take on a backpacking trip. Hopefully you eat a little bit healthier than this. Um, Although I'm, I'm guilty of eating like this on some trips, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we can see if all my groceries can fit into this. So, took a trip to grocery outlet today. Money saving tip right here. If you have a grocery outlet near you, do the majority of your shopping there. Maybe buy your meat somewhere else, in your greens, um, but everything else you need, much cheaper. Quite roomy. Oh, and um, some accessories you can get for this. Uh, like I mentioned, I mentioned the odor proof bags before. You can. You can find a really wide selection of those online. Um, and in uh, certain states in the country, depending on where you do your shopping, you might get some of your, your shopping in odor-proof bags that you could reuse. So, money saving tip there. Yeah, like, 
the same. There are tons of odor-proof bags out there. You don't have to go with um, the what is it called, lop sack. Uh, in fact, I've heard some really, I've read some really bad reviews on that. So I'm actually kind of steering away from that, even though it it seems to be uh, like made by the same like company maybe or like designed to work together with this. Um, I'm not sure the story on that, but I've heard some stories about the sides of the bags delaminating, and so I think I'm just not gonna. Or, I mean, they're so cheap, maybe I'll just buy a selection of them, see what works right, and do another review. Um, anyway, so I've got, you know, about $50 worth of backpacking groceries there. I've still got plenty of room, there's probably at least six inches of space here. Um, I'm pretty sure I can safely still close that bag. Take our, our waterproof for along, and just something weird shaped. Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. Probably don't want to overdo it. Is this hole in the top should be pretty well cinched shut. In fact, even in the instructions in the bag, they're like use leverage. It has to. <laughs> it's like all right, man. So I got that cranked down pretty good, but I've already taken a misstep. Forgot to thread the cords. So. So, the threading instructions. So your cords, they're just laid out plain like this. You want to want to cross them before you stick them both through the grommet on the opposite side of the sack. that threaded and this is when we crank it down just make sure you don't forget that one minor step so got it cranked pretty good and the first step is to tie a double overhand in the cord so that means you're going to grab both of these both strands coming out the overhand part of this is you're going to grab it it goes over the hand so it's just, you're just basically making a big loop. Get your hand out of there. This loop you've created. What you've got in your other hand, you're gonna pull up through. Drag all of it through and then cinch that part down. So nice and tight. Next part. That way there's more. You take both strands my shirt's black and these are black, you can't hardly see it. Hold up. You're going to cross them. And then one end up and through. You come around, up and through again. So just a little twirl in there. I'm not really sure what you'd call that knot. Then you're going to crank this down on top of your double overhand. And then from there, you've got it. You've got a critter-proof bag. Probably do not want to stuff too much more into this than what we had on the table. Because um, you'd risk uh, bulging at the top a little bit. Um, but yeah, from here, you can hang this in a tree if you wish, or you can just anchor it to a rock, um, well away from your campsite, of course. Oh, and I mentioned uh, an accessory, uh, an another one in addition to the, the odor proof bags. You can get an, an aluminum liner for, for the inside of this. Um, because, of course, if a bear does get a hold of this, they may not get your food, but you might not get your food either. It's going to be likely smashed. So um, you can get an additional aluminum liner that um, may help prevent that. So, we are ready to go on our next trip. My first impression seems pretty stout. See how it rolls up? <laughs>